Capital and Commercial Trust, SGX, C61U, or CCT for short, it is the first and largest commercial real estate investment trust in Singapore's stock market. Its portfolio consists of prominent commercial buildings located in the heart of Singapore, including Asia Square Tower 2 and 20 Ants and among others. Two weeks ago on 17 May 2018, CCT announced its decision to acquire its first property outside of Singapore. Here is a quick summary of the details of the proposed transaction, and how it will affect the REIT's unit holders. An attractive price the property in question, which is located in Frankfurt, Germany, is a 38-story Capital and Commercial Trust, SGX, C61U, or CCT for short, it is the first and largest commercial real estate investment trust in Singapore's stock market. Its portfolio consists of prominent commercial buildings located in the heart of Singapore, including Asia Square Tower 2 and 20 Ants and among others. Two weeks ago on 17 May 2018, CCT announced its decision to acquire its first property outside of Singapore. Here is a quick summary of the details of the proposed transaction, and how it will affect the REIT's unit holders. An attractive price the property in question, which is located in Frankfurt, Germany, is a 38-story grade a commercial building with ancillary retail space, and a four-story heritage building for office use. It has a total net lettable area of 437,157 square feet, which is approximately 40,522 square meters. Notably, the building sits on freehold land and currently has a 100% occupancy rate with a long average lease expiry of 10.6 years. CCT has agreed to purchase a 94.9% .9 interest in the property at a total property value of 356 million euros, which is a slight discount to the building's independently appraised valuation of 360.9 million euros. Together with the acquisition fees, CCT will have to pay $548.3 million in total. Sources of funding and gearing ratio CCT will use a mix of debt and proceeds from a private placement to fund the new acquisition. It is estimated that the trust will borrow an additional $339.5 million. The right has raised gross proceeds of $217.9 million from a private placement that was closed on the 18th of May 2018. The private placement units were offered at a price of $1.676 apiece. As of the 31st of March 2018, CCT had a gross debt level of $4 billion. The increase in its debt load, all other things being equal, will push the REIT's leverage up to 39% from 37.9%. Despite the leverage ratio being under the 45% regulatory cap, is still relatively high compared to other rights in Singapore. As a point of comparison, at a gearing ratio of 39%, CCT will have the fifth highest gearing level amongst all rights, stapled trusts in Singapore and will be well above the 34.8% average leverage ratio. Will it be yield accretive according to CCT's management? The acquisition of the Frankfurt property would have added 0.03 cents, or 1.4% to the REIT's distribution per unit for the first quarter of 2018 even after taking into account an enlarged unit base from the private placement. This is because the new acquisition has a higher net property yield, 4%, than its current portfolio, 3.9%. Furthermore, part of the acquisition will be funded by debt, as mentioned earlier. However, retail investors should be disappointed that they were not able to participate in CCT's latest round of equity fundraising, as the right had opted for a private placement instead. 
Other benefits of the acquisition in my view, there are a few benefits that come with the trust's first foray into Europe. First, the expansion will widen its geographical footprint and reduce its reliance on the Singapore office market. Secondly, the acquisition property's anchor tenant is Commerce Bank AG, which is, crucially, a very stable bank with a high credit rating score. It is the second largest listed lender by total assets in Germany, and the country has a 15.5% stake in the bank. There is therefore, very little risk that the bank will default on its leases on the property. Thirdly, the addition of the Frankfurt property will improve CCT's overall portfolio occupancy by 30 basis points to 97.6%, and increase its weighted average lease expiry by 0.4 years to 6.1 years. The foolish conclusion Capital and Commercial Trust has been very aggressive in trying to maximize its debt headroom to grow its portfolio. This has had the effect of growing the REIT's distribution per unit to unit holders. However, there are some negatives to this acquisition that may irk investors. Firstly, CCT had decided to source for additional equity through a private placement. This had diluted the stakes of the REIT's existing unit holders. More importantly, existing retail unit holders did not have the opportunity to participate in CCT's latest round of fundraising. Secondly, 62% of the acquisition fee is funded by debt. The increased debt load will put CCT near the regulatory limits of its debt capacity. Investors will have to note that after this acquisition, CCT is unlikely to be able to increase its debt load much further and, hence, might not make another debt-driven acquisition for some time. How we made an 88% return in just 19 months Members of David Kuo's personal investing club Stock Advisor Gold were recently rewarded with the biggest winner Motley Fool Singapore has seen to date. In a special, 100% free report we've put together, we take you behind the scenes to show you exactly how we first uncovered this stock. Every article and piece of research we released on it. And what ultimately led to our decision to sell for an 88% gain. Click here to claim your copy now. The information provided is for general information purposes only and is not intended to be personalized investment or financial advice. The Motley Fool Singapore has recommended units of capital and commercial trust. Motley Fool Singapore contributor does not own shares in any companies mentioned.